Local animal shelters have reported dogs and cats being dumped for some time. It's not a new trend, but it's increasing. Not only that, but people are illegally dumping these animals in cold weather. We had a situation this morning. Um, somebody came to the shelter. They were trying to surrender dogs that they claimed were strays. We explained to them that we didn't have any space. Um, the people also wound up being from out of county. We don't have space for our own county, let alone other counties. That's when Marcy Zeiler, Humane Society police officer at Griffin Pond Animal Shelter in Clark Summit, told the person to take the animals to a shelter in the county they were found in. A couple minutes later, I got a call on my line. Um, the shelter here got a call um, on their line about two dogs that were running loose down Gr Griffin Pond Road. Prior to them pulling out of here, um, our one of the managers at the shelter did go, and she saw the dogs before they left, and they were the same dogs that were running loose down our road. Zyler says she does not believe these dogs were strays. The issue is that people don't give us the information. We're going to find the information out. So it, it's easier for everybody involved if you just are honest with us to begin with. Um, so the animals were not strays. It, it's heartbreaking for somebody to be able to just dump them out of a car on the side of the road. It was 27 degrees this morning, so not okay. The, the one dog is a senior. He's probably between 10 and 12 years old. Um, both of the dogs were you know, fat. They've probably lived in a house their whole life and now they're going to be living here and that's miserable for them. Over at SPCA of Luzerne County, Humane Society Police Officer Vicki Van Gorder says they are seeing illegal dumping of animals daily. We're seeing a lot more of it nowadays only because my reasoning, and I could be wrong, is um, the financial strain on, on everybody is taking toll. You know, they can't or getting gas, let alone paying their bills, or, you know, taking care of themselves, let alone taking care of an animal. Zyler says the laws that are in place now can always use some work, but for this case, they'll be doing more than just summaries. Reporting live, I'm Taylor Wharton B with Fox 56 News, first at 10.